Hi, this is Lee Jones, and I'm here to do a paint pour today, and it's dedicated to the Duke. So here we go. I'm gonna put you down to see the canvas. Hopefully you won't drift. And um, I'm gonna fill the cup first really quickly. So I'm gonna add just a touch of white and a touch of gold, sandwich it with some white. And then I'm gonna put some of this blue in it that has metallic colors. Now, this blue, let me show you up close, um, is metallic and uh, it's made from a lot of different colors to make what I call mystical blue. So um, there's a video that is just about how to, how to make that mystical blue. And there's also a video out on how to make the white and another one on how to make the gold. Okay, so after the blue, I'm gonna pour the green. I better take these sticks out. Um, I make these sticks by popping um, a, uh, one of these sticks. I just pop it in half so that I have a fat half to stir. And then this can either be a pointer or it can be used as um, a tool, um, or I can cut it and uh, use it as a stir for a smaller one, but it works really nice. So I'm gonna pour some green into the blue. Follow that with just a touch of white. And then I'm gonna Follow that with some brown. Some gold. Since the canvas is only at nine by 12, I don't need much more than, this cup is a nine inch cup, so I don't need much more than half the cup. This is um, Perdot blue, um, green. I just love it. It's metallic too. It's just gorgeous. This time I'm not going to put any white with the gold. We'll see takes place. Put a little pillow of white you can't really see from the canvas. So the first thing you put in your cup is what's gonna come out last. So the first thing we put in was the white, a little bit of gold, and the white. The last thing, which is gonna be the first thing coming out. Dolly, Dolly, sorry about, Dolly and Jerry have a new toy and they, they want the toy the other one has, um, even though they're identical. Okay, they must be able to smell it or something, I don't know. Okay, so I'm gonna bring the turntable closer to me. It's gonna work best if I do it with my left hand. I'll do a straight pour where I just ripple it out.
here comes the white, so we're at the very end. Tilt the paint back, let the drip stop. When, they, when it dries, I will put it on um, twinkle lights outside. I don't like the center, but I really like this part right here. So I think I'm going to take one of these and just make things when you use extender is have it just a little bit thinner than the rest of the paint. The paint always should be the same consistency. Well, I guess there's exceptions to everything, but when I'm doing it, I like to have the paint the same consistency. So um, the only time it would be the exception to the rule would be when I want to put it on the edges so that it can help make the paint flow. And so that's what I'm using it for right now. That way the paint won't get caught. There's some resistance to just being on the, the, the paint on the canvas. And that resistance can make the paint like roll over itself. So we just take the, bro the brown and we just bring it up to the edges of the canvas. We don't need to worry about the sides. There's lots of paint on here, much more than I need. So instead of doing other things, I'm going to move it. And then I'll be able to rescue the paint that pours over it. So initial, initially we're going to there's sea hooks and there's tape, so I'm going to take the sea hooks. I'm going to hold it so I don't hold the edge of the canvas. And I'm going to try to get a square. I'm going to try something here. So this will hopefully be a little bit more of a squared off. I don't want to lose all that beautiful blue. Just keep the brown.
instead of losing some of some more of the um, the blue that I really like. So I'm going like this to stop the dripping. Um, there's so much, you can see how much is coming off of it. But if I didn't do this, gravitation would just keep letting it come off. So having my hand in the center of the cab canvas is purposely doing that. So we'll stop. I need to move this back farther. The sticks will dry and will be able to be reused with the paint on them as long as they're dry. And so we're gonna be able to save what's on the table and I'll just quickly show you that, how that will be an investment for a future pour. So just take it and just scoop it up. There was nothing dry, so by doing this, I'm just collecting the paint that came off my pour, which has beautiful gold in it, that beautiful metallic pour, um, the green metallic color, predominant color in the pour, um, or some sort of grayish green. This is what it looks like without me stirring it. I don't know if you can see that very well the light um, and if I were to stir it instead of having that brown that we had before we now have a, a, this nice beige okay I love this Oh, I'm speechless. I just, I, I love the striped gold and, and brown um, right here. I just love these cells. And then the cells that were wrapped with the blue, I had already fallen in love with prior to, let me bring you down. Let me, let me show you what I'm talking about. I don't know if you can see it that high up. So this is what I was talking about, the, the layers and then the ones that were like it, they're all wrapped in the blue. Over here we have some that aren't just beautiful, just absolutely beautiful. Yeah, this is, this is definitely a beautiful, uh, I think it looks like there's an island. Um, okay, it's beautiful. I'm gonna call it the Duke's Island. I really enjoyed doing the Duke's Island with you tonight, and I sure hope that you'll hit the subscribe button if you want to watch more in the future. Give me a thumbs up and hit the notification button too.